Today, you're going to learn how to use Google Maps to increase your situation awareness when traveling. Google Maps can be used to plan travel, plan your escape routes, meetups, or just to build property. Use Google Maps to plan your travel accommodations. Let's take a closer look to see if this hotel is a safe place to stay at. Here is a street view of the motel. Looking at this tree line over here is pretty concerning. You could have people hide out in the woods and ambush you. The parking lot gives you a few safe options to choose from. When you are looking for a place to stay, avoid truck stops, adult venues, quick loans, and remote locations. This is particularly important if you're in an area with few hotel choices. Google Maps is great to use when you're planning your bug out escape routes. From this aerial view, you can see the surrounding bodies of water that surround the city, making great places to escape to. If there's a natural disaster, consider alternate routes. Avoid interstates, main roads, and congested areas. If you can't use the roads, consider bike trails, railroads, and waterways. You can see this thin white line here is actually a bike path, and you can see it divides the subdivisions. If you have bikes, it's a great way to make up time. When you're planning your route, look for places that have concealment, accessible resources, especially water. Railroads are another great option if you don't know where you're going or don't have a map, and they'll eventually lead you out of the city. Be careful, there may not be that many people there, but vagrants tend to hang out on the railways. And also, travel on the side of the railway, not directly on for concealment. Rails will eventually lead you out of the city. You can see here as we approach this large body of water where there's fishing and you can set up camp. Another great way to use this is when you're making purchase on Craigslist or another social media site. When you get the address, you want to check out the area to see if it's safe. I recommend meeting in a public area, going with somebody, uh, and avoid taking a lot of cash. Then when you zoom in, well, look at this house. I don't think this is a safe area. The address is here is right here on the corner of the gray house. So yeah, we're not gonna be shopping here, so this is a no-go. Uh, but just let's just look around anyway. So you are on the other side of the street, you can see it looks like some guys hanging out on the street corner, and that's not good. This building has bars on the window, that's another bad sign. If you're going to a new hiking area, it's great to look at the layout in case you get lost. See the hiking trails are the thin white lines around the park. So you can see here on the map, if, if you were to get lost, if you just went in any direction, you would eventually hit a subdivision. It's good to know what's around the surrounding areas. Here you can see the parking lot. And over here, there's actually a fire station, which is great for an emergency. Google Maps is a great tool you can use to improve your situation awareness and end up avoiding bad areas.